Is this demonetizable? Degree, the updated demo your girl has been uploading a lot of updated demos and i think they changed up the story a whole oh well not a whole lot i guess a little bit i'm not too sure i don't want to read up too much into it because i just want it to be a surprise so we're gonna start from the very beginning i was quite a little flustered cheeks getting a little blushy from this screen here because you, if, if you've been like a long time fan, you know I get very shy where Chestless guys, I guess In real life and in game, any type of game I don't know why You would think I would get used to them now But no uh, Oh, and this game is obviously Is for mature audiences So watch at your own risk if you want to This is your disclaimer right now Alright are you still here? If you're still here, you're watching it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Welcome to First Degree. I'm... Is that Ray or Rai? Ray? Kirishima, and this is Jun and Mi Minami. Minami? 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 Hi, I'm Minami Shun... Shunsuki? Oh god, I can't pronounce. Hey, my name is Jun Sai... Se Segyo? Segyo? Please read the short tour before this game begins. All right? First of all, please make sure to check your settings before you play a game. You can access the settings screen by clicking options. In the lower right corner, okay, I actually gotta fix that right now. Just because... There's voices? It's, uh, I think the last time I played this game was last year, so I don't remember anything. Besides that, this game was intense. You can also access the settings... Okay, now this sounds just too low. I think that'll be fine though. <laughs> you can also access the settings from the main menu, just click in settings. Adjust your volume sliders as need be. Make sure you check the censorship option. This is an R18 rated 18 plus game and will have both sex and blood. If you are uncomfortable with either of these, select on for the respective censorship option. CGs will be replaced by censored ones, but the text will not be changed. Like, that's on or is that off? On? off wait it's turning off on its own or oh because i moused over it whatever we're gonna keep it on even though i'm gonna end up having to censor those things anyway <laughs> the option is enabled when the square has a red center after you play through the game at least one time, you will have access to additional modes such as Animal Ears, Tails, or Magic Void mode through the settings screen. Though they will be a patch later down the line, so you don't so don't get your hopes up for right now. Sorry! Oh, so it's just like extras. To save the game, you can either right-click or click quick save in the quick menu. Load and quick load will do the same thing. Uh, click skip. Okay, uh, I guess this is more for like, beginners? that was i don't need that tutorial and i believe this game isn't going to be free when it's fully developed i believe it's gonna cost some money but i don't know how much october 15th it's intoxicating the rush the colors the expression the science sometimes the only ways to learn it and this is an anatomy if you guys haven't known already the only way to learn is through hands on experience i need to know how how are the cuts so clean maybe if i or what about i believe i knew there was voice acting the first time I recorded i'm not too sure but your girl's hype there's voice acting because that saves my throat i put my notebook on the med medical table beside me placing my hands on the bound bound man's legs i lean in and gaze down at him <laughs> sorry that i crossed your path tonight but rest assured you'll be a great contribution to my case I retrieve a number 10 scalpel from the medical tray as my victim screams through his gag, shaking his head as if he can somehow deter me. Tears stream down his cheeks as his hands fit, as his hands fist, his chest heaves with such strained breath. Breath? Glossary. Number 10 scalpel, traditional blade used for cuts of various links in muscle and skin. 
All right, thank you. Thank you for your contribution, number seven. Sorry, number seven, Jesus. I forgot. Uh, mm, Is there a gallery in this game? Let me... Quick save. I'm gonna quick save here, because in case there's no gallery, I can come back to take the CGR for thumbnail. Oh god, I don't remember this. Oh. Okay, so, oh. Oh. <laughs> Start at the second rib down. Make a vertical incision to the fourth rib. Is this demonetizable? Don't panic. Horizontal cut halfway across the breast, just below the first rib and above the fifth. Pull the skin back, expose the muscle. Come on, you've done this six times already. Don't mess this part up. Repeat the same incisions in the muscle and expose the rib cage. Okay, so far so... Ugh, sloppy cuts. He keeps squirming. You're already ruining my experiment. Stay still. Otherwise, you'll feel even more pain. Sorry, dude. What an annoyance. There's no way I'll be able to understand the doctor's way of killing at this rate. I get the basics, but how does he ma master such clean cuts? The man continues to struggle, enough to make me graze his neck with a scalpel. Stop moving! You're messing up my data! Okay, I re I'm slowly remembering that there was voice acting. This amount of blood loss is in con concurrent with the expected loss from the doctor's cuts. Maybe it's my method. Shit. You're going to force me to speed up the process. Just my luck. I reach for the costa costatome bone cutter on the medical tray. My victim's blood dripping from my gloves and onto the other pieces of equipment. What the f is that? A surgical instrument for cutting the ribs and opening the thor thorac thor thorac I mm, cavity. This is why I'm not a doctor. I don't know any of those terms. Sedative won't help now that you've rushed me. I position the costotome and the man's muffled screams become louder as he attempts to shake free. After what seems like a few seconds, my victim falls unconscious, and I'm finally able to work without the excessive noise. Oh, uh, sweet dreams! My seventh failure. Jesus. October 16th. Detective Still walks onto the scene, lifting the yellow police tape and ducking beneath it. The air is already numbered and marked as he carefully as he steps carefully, looking at the body furrows his brows, con in instantly recognizing the kill pattern. Hello, number seven. Hello, is it Aiden or Aiden? Damn. Hey Ray! Hurry up, we don't have all day. A ch a ch a chill out. Yeah, yeah, come an old man. Inspecting my own work again. So boring. I slip on my gloves and kneel by the body and as, as I adjust the fit. Left wrist dislocation. The midline of his chest cut down to his fourth rib. Thoracic cavity cut open and stitch closed. Heart potentially missing. A two centimeter gash on his sternocleidomastoid. Burn marks on his neck from a stun gun. This makes me want to watch House again. Uh, sternoglidomastoid, long muscles in the neck that turn and nod the head. Alright, I'm never going to remember that. You know I hate when you mumble. You want to hear me talk? All medical? Oh, you know you hate my squint talk. Squint talk. A nickname for people in a field of science tend to squint when working. Yeah, but as your supervisor, I need to at least pretend like I'm listening. But you're pretending right now. How about I just talk a little louder for you? <sighs> Is it so difficult to just talk normally? Yes, because we didn't stop for breakfast. How old are you again? I don't know. <laughs> you still owe me a breakfast sandwich. Don't forget. How could I possibly with your whining? Anyway, back to business. I'm gonna have to autopsy the victim to get any final results. At this point, all I can tell you is that the approximate time of death is between seven and eight hours ago. Cause of death is probably shock or blood loss. Age is around mid 40s. Is, is my guy's eyes red or orange? Is that orange? <laughs> He's talking and I'm just like looking at his eyes. But like I said, I'll need to autopsy him. Have them track down his heart and then bag him and take the poor bastard to my lab. 
make sure it's just how I like it. Last time those idiots messed up. Did you guys hear the, when he said messed up? It seems like he ha he was like, he turned his head to the side from the mic to look at something and <laughs> said messed up. I don't know. Last time those idiots messed up. But I forgot to mention, where's his heart? Did he, did Ray take the heart or something? Detective Steele slips a small scratch pad and pen from his pocket and jots some notes before turning to inform the rest of the four forensic team of their duties. Jeez, you remind me of my wife. Uh, what? Huh? What did you say? What's that supposed to mean? Don't just walk away, I'm talking to you! What a bastard. I stand and remove my gloves as I walk. <laughs> the sound of the gloves. As I walk towards the crowd of onlookers getting into Detective Seal's car, I wait for him to finish investigating the scene while the rest of the fur fur forensic forensics team examines the surrounding area. I remember this game made me feel horrible about my English because I couldn't read the words. They're so difficult to say for some reason. So annoying. I wonder when the doctor will kill again. So much death, so little answers. This guy's just too fucking good. One could almost think he's the master of the perfect crime, but then again, he does leave us the bodies. Flipping through the multitude of crime scene photos on the computer, I find myself stopping at every other one to reassess what I'm seeing. I lean in closely and squint with my nose, I'm almost brushing the screen, and that's with my glasses on. Is this the best they can do? This agency needs better cameras or better photographers because I can barely see shit. At least the cuts are visible, mostly. A member of the, a member of the for, forens, forensics walks over, leaning on the back of my chair and peeking over my shoulder at the pictures as he sips some coffee. Hey, Kuro-kun. Any progress? This case is crazy. I don't think we've ever had such a high body count. That's such a cute pen. Any ideas about this new victim? Is he the copycats or the doctors? We've all got a bet going. Please tell me it's the doctors. My lunch is riding on it. Nope. Take out my glasses and rub my eyes in frustration before pointing to the monitor. Oh, Mito, when will you learn? The clean cuts are always the doctors. You know, professional grade quality. The copycat acts like a C grade college kid who needs a 30 point curve to pass. He's dissing himself, so. Did I just insult myself? Yes, you did. Gosh, those cuts look painful and... Oh, God, the ribs. Ugh. I'm not cut out for this. But you're in this job profession? Pun intended. <laughs> now that you mention it, yeah, it was. Well, you can't say that now. You didn't even know you are doing a pun. Anyway, the best we can figure, they both have medical experience. The main difference is one uses a black market muscle relaxer more potent than succinylcholine. succinylcholine. Not that we have any evidence of it though. Tax screen's always negative. Der talk screen determines the amount and type of drugs in the system, but what's the S one? Suc succinylcholine, short acting muscle relaxer, also used as local anesthesia. Anesthesia? So, how is it that they expect you to figure this out if everything comes back negative? They think I'm a freaking brain god or something. I have no fucking clue. These desk jockeys can barely keep it together lately. That's about all I can tell you. You know who I'm waiting to see? The twins. Because they're my fave. Honestly, I'm just trying to figure out the methods myself at this point. This The process isn't important, just who did it. Listen. I'm not the one that told you, but every new kill is like a day at the races here. Let's just hope next kill I get a few hundred. I've already lost 60 bucks. Can you believe it? This is why you don't gamble. He laughs jokingly and taps me on the shoulder. He chuckled before I turn back to my monitor as he walks away. See ya, partner. See ya, Mito. What a strange guy. <laughs> Continuing to flip through photos, one of my biggest questions still eats at me. How is he drugging his victims? No punctures between the toes, none behind the ears or on the arms, and it's not as if he can just drink the stuff for the same results. Even if I could get my hands on it, I doubt my paycheck would cover the cost, and it's not like I fully understand how he uses the shit. Hello? 
pick up? Who's that? Oh wait, that's my boss. Hello. Body's an autopsy. As you know, this is priority. Oh, look at everyone's photos. Isn't that my ex? <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's happy to talk to me. What happened to... Hey, hun, how are you? Who's a C? <laughs> hey, hun, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for playing along. That's better. Come on. I need you down here in five. He hangs up. All right, God, he's so much fun to tease. You'd like to tease your boss? Standing from my desk, I shut down the computer and grab my case files before heading down to the lab. And this is actually where I'm going to be stopping for today. The game completion. Zero percent. I really don't even remember where the demo ended. And because this is an updated demo, I feel like it's going to be a little longer. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Touch it, touch it, touch it.